Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we should use the alternating series test. So with the alternating series test, you discard this negative plus one, negative one thing, and then just extract the UN. So you discard this thing, and then just extract the UN. Make sure all the UNs are positive. So, uh, so, so look, looking at this, looking at this, let's just discard this. Make sure that all the UNs are positive. So, um, so if you look at the natural log graph, it looks like this. This being one. So, um, so when when you start out n equals one, you put this into here. So, uh, so this thing here will be will be uh, it will be one plus one. So you start out with natural log of two, and then as n increases, you can see this is getting smaller and smaller. So, uh, so, so you are actually approaching one. So, so one way of looking at this is is like this. You're actually approaching. Uh, you're actually approaching number one because because as n increases because as n increases this thing here is just going to get smaller and smaller and smaller it will never reach it will never reach zero so you're you so what, what what's happening here is is this one way of visualizing this is that it's heading towards towards one uh towards the number one here but it will never reach one because one because one over nine 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 it will never reach zero this thing here this thing will never reach zero so you so you're always approaching this this number one here this number one here but you will never get there because one over n will never reach zero so so you can see that uh, all the uns or will be positive so looking at this looking at this you can see that uh, condition one has been met all the uns will be positive so uh, so now check number three make sure that the the limit of un make sure the limit of this equals zero so what this is saying is this make sure that the limit of uh, of of this make sure the limit of natural log uh, one plus one over n as n tends to infinity make sure that it is heading towards zero make sure that the limit is zero well well you can see by looking at the graph like this it it is heading towards it is heading towards zero you can just tell by looking at this okay so 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 number one has been met Number three has been met, and then to 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 make sure that the uh, uh, to make sure condition two is good, uh, make sure that it's uh, non-increasing. So make sure that the well to to well you can see that um, as as you increase n, as n moves from one to infinity, this thing here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So uh, so you can see that it's always it's always uh, non-increasing. So in this case, it's always decreasing. Um, but but just to just to be on the safe side, let's map a function on top of it, differentiate it. If the if the uh, if the gradient is always negative, if the gradient is always negative, then you know it's always going downhill. So, but for number two, you can just tell by just glancing at, at this. But let's just let's just be safe and, and actually differentiate it. So looking at this, map a function on top of it. So now we're mapping. We we are defining a function. We we are mapping a function on top of that. Now differentiate this. So when you differentiate this, it will then give you, it will then give you, it will then give you this. So from here, uh, you, you, oops, from here you can see that, um, well remember, n, n moves from 1 to infinity. So, so you can see that this thing, well n is moving from 1 to infinity, meaning that this will always be positive. Well, if this is always positive, then 1 over that thing will always be positive, and then you've got a minus here. So, so the gradient will always be negative, meaning that it's always going downhill. So, um, so, so with the alternating series test, if all three conditions have been met, then you can conclude that it's going to um, to converge. It will converge. So, in in our case, our series here will converge. Okay.